Portland School Board decided last night to ask voters to approve a new bond measure. Portland taxpayers will decide whether to keep paying to build new schools and renovate others. Yeah, but part of this money would also go towards millions in cost overruns from project in the last bond. Our Lisa Balick is live in Southwest Portland looking into this. Lisa. Yeah, here at Lincoln High School, this is one of the bond measures that was funded, from, excuse me, from that bond measure, the school. They broke ground here last month. Again, this was funded by the bond approved in 2017, but it's one where there are cost overruns. Now, Portland, the Portland School Board knows it has some work to do. The 2017 bond was money to build a new Lincoln High School, as well as Kellogg Middle School, and renovate Madison and Benson High Schools. Also do repairs at other places. But the board found increase in construction costs and some misjudging of initial bond figures has ended up with millions of dollars over estimates. The school board says, though, it is not going back on promises to voters to renovate or build new schools. We're definitely committed to um, the bonds, the, the schools that were in the 2017 bond to um, build them and in addition do the critical health and safety work, which is happening at schools all over the city. Now the next one, the 2020 bond, voters would decide in November would continue the existing tax assessment property owners pay under the current bond, but the exact number and what would be included in that bond is still a question. Voters definitely, though, will have input in the coming months before a decision is made. As to how the board is planning to avoid cost overruns in the future, I'll have that coming up tonight at 5. Live in Southwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Point Six News. $100 million in cost overruns. Thank you, Lisa.